War II, a small group of American pilots stood alongside Chinese volunteers to fight for a common cause. Formed in 1941, the Flying Tigers, officially known as the first American volunteer group, were a squadron of pilots hired by China for their skills. Their leader, Major General Claire Lee Shenault, led the recruiting efforts in the U.S. to find men and planes to assist the Chinese Air Force and served with the AVG till the end of the war. They became a symbol of international cooperation against foreign invasion. With fewer than 91 out of 500 planes combat ready and even fewer trained pilots to fly them, Chenault convinced President Franklin Roosevelt to allow some military pilots to resign their commissions and go to China to fight for the Chinese people. By the fall of 1941, over 200 pilots and support crew traveled to Asia, including a dozen Chinese Americans. Ordinary Chinese citizens volunteered to build airplane runways in the AVG base in Kunming. The Flying Tigers operated a fleet of Curtis P-40 Warhawks with their distinctive shark-faced nose art. While not as powerful as many other aircraft, Chenault's use of maneuvers such as high-speed diving and climbing helped them gain an altitude advantage over their opponents. They even shot down nine out of 10 bombers during a single battle. Chenault's Flying Tigers kept supply lines open and helped China continue fighting. Chenault stayed on and led the China Air Task Force, which included the 23rd Fighter Group, through the end of the war. Thanks to their efforts, China's Western Front was protected from further destruction in the war, saving many lives. The Flying Tiger's story remains a testament to the indomitable spirit and camaraderie forged in the crucible of war, echoing through history as a symbol of bravery and friendship between nations.